Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the message that apply, leave the ones that do not, and without any further ado, we are going to get into tonight's messages, okay? I hope everyone is doing well and feeling well, okay? I've already pre-shuffled some decks. I have the overall energy for the reading here, okay? And then we're going to go into some further clarification of what is going on, what is happening here, okay? So we have the overall message here. Voodoo a witch bitch in your family is possessed, okay? So there is somebody that's in your family who is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is a um, a straight up snake, okay? Um, whether you know it or not, they're into voodoo, um, black magic, um, all kind of witchcraft, sorcery, and um, different types of things, okay? But this person is um so into this that they are demonically possessed okay there is a demonic spirit that has taken over their body here okay which is why we also have spirits of the dead here okay this person um has paranormal activity going on around them okay whether they have expressed this to anyone else or not they have paranormal activity going on around them okay um this person um could possibly see um well what most would refer to as ghosts but they're um but what this person is seeing is not any type of angelic or divine spirits this person is seeing demons okay and it's because of the fact that these are the demons that this person has conjured up that is working through this person these demons have latched themselves onto this person has literally possessed this person um entire mind body and soul okay so essentially this person Person is being haunted and taunted by these demons okay that they have conjured up okay um they're also being um haunted by spirits of the dead as well this person um stops at nothing um to try to manifest what it is that they want okay um which is oftentimes negative in nature. This person goes out and do graveyard rituals or spells and different things like that. Um as well okay this person um do spell work um out by beds of water or bodies of water rather okay um there's a lot of different malicious evil things that this person is into okay um this could be somebody that you speak to frequently okay or occasionally but this is definitely someone that's in your family this person is completely and utterly demonically possessed i don't care what type of life they live okay um they're living a double life okay um, because this person could have a regular job. Um, this person could even go to church. This person could be active um, in their community in various different things or whatever. And they have several different masks they, they wear a around a certain people depending on whom they are around at whatever specific time okay but this person is demonically possessed okay this is the type of person who will smile in your face and work against you behind your back okay this is the type of and, and like this is the type of person um when you're going through something um um traumatic in your life nine times out of ten they cause this whatever thing to happen okay and this individual is the type of individual that will um gaslight you in your face and make it you know make it seem like oh they're care or they're there for you and different things like that okay this is the type of person who um will steal something from you okay and help you look for it okay but um this person is into a lot of sinister things, okay? Whether you all know this or not here, okay? I've already pre-shuffled these decks here, okay? These are just some brief um, overall oracle cards pertaining to this topic. So we have here the magic of the... Um, 
uh, Kohalin drew this. Okay, this talks about caution here. Okay, secrecy, worry. Okay, this person has a lot of things hidden, secret. Um, things that they do in the dark, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, okay? Very malicious things, okay? You need caution when dealing with this person, okay? This person, um, if you go around this person, um, you could feel all of a sudden um, worrisome, anxious, um, uncomfortable um, around this person for no specific reason. You could even, this uh, could feel nauseous, lightheaded or sick when you are around this person, just out of the blue. You were fine one minute, but you got around this person and all of a sudden you get a migraine headache or you feel lightheaded or you feeling ill, especially if you have eaten anything from this person or drank anything. Um, that came from this person or anything like that. This person is into some very malicious things, okay? Um, because of the demons, this person has several different demons. So you see this person here, okay? They could be beautiful on the outside or handsome on the outside, okay? But this person shapeshifts, okay? A lot of times, these demons will completely take over this person's body here, okay? A lot of times... Uh, more often than not, you will see it in their facial structure. You will see the like the whole surface of this demon like literally show itself. Just come over them all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, okay? And it will be like a you know um, a glimpse or a brief snippet of this demon that's in them. But there are multiple demons that is in this person here, okay? Spirit is saying that this individual. Um, this is a, as a result of them selling out here, okay? They are a sellout to these satanic powers that be. Look very closely at this card. You see how they all spaced out in the eyes here, okay? Um, this person probably likes to get high, likes to get drunk. Um, and as well as you see the blood-stained uh, shirt that they have on, the blood around the mouth, this person drinks blood as well here, okay? This person do a lot of things. When attacking other people, um, they manipulate other people's energy, other people's dreams, and things like this. Um, if you frequently have dreams about a specific person just out of the blue, randomly, for no apparent reason at all, um, especially somebody that you don't talk to on a daily basis, you don't see on a daily basis, or you don't talk to or see at all. This person is doing witchcraft on you, okay? And they're purposely implanting themselves um, um, on your mind and in your dreams, okay? They're trying to um, steal your energy, okay? These are energy vampires here, okay? This person sold their soul, okay? They sold out to these satanic powers that be, um they worship the devil as their god here this person is under contract as well okay this person couldn't stop what they're doing if they wanted to okay this person is a part of some type of secret society some type of satanic cult or witch coven of or something as well this person is malicious and evil on their own but they are a part of a of a specific group okay that um dabbles in sex magic and and various other things okay um because this person is a sellout okay which is something else that you may or may not be aware of here okay spirit is saying that this person goes um is going beyond the normal here okay um so this is if if, if this person dislike you okay nine times out of ten they're not going to tell you to your face okay um, but there are subtle things that this person may do to, um, let you know that they dislike you in some type of way. Okay. If you're talking to this person and it's like, they're, they're tuning you out. They're not even listening. They're not paying attention. This is on purpose. If you're talking to this person, pay close attention. If they're rolling their eyes or look like they're, they, they start yawning or stretching. Okay. Um, this is something that they, that these game stalkers do to uh, try to annoy you to make it seem like what you're talking about they're not interested in they don't care about they're not listening to they don't want to hear okay but they want all your undivided attention okay they expect you to this is the type of person if you called them 
they will see you calling and not answer. Okay, but if you, if, if if they call you, they expect you to answer. If they text you, they expect you to answer them. You know, little stupid mal uh, malicious type of things like that. That's when they're gang stalking you. Okay, but this person is going beyond the normal. Um, when it comes to, um, the witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, and spells that they do, okay? They really take things to the extreme with the things that they do, okay? And they tap into something else, um, sinister, like this person, <clears throat> excuse me, they don't want me to get this out. This person may come off like they are spiritual or they are light workers, but this person is not. This person is very evil, very wicked, very demonic in nature, okay? No if, ands, or buts about it, okay? Um, whether you know this or not, okay? Um, they will go to any lengths to try to harm you if um, they are working against you. This person will poison you. Um, this person will do death spells on you, beauty spells on you, glamour spells on you. This person will do love spells on you. They will do things to try to curse your love life, curse your finances, curse your home, your job, your career, your love life, your relationships. Um, everything. This person will even do magic to try to call your partner to them to get them to leave you. And I mean, very malicious, hateful, evil things. This person stops at nothing. This person will attack your children as well. Okay. They go beyond the normal of, um, you know, um, words can be a curse in itself. Okay. So th this person goes beyond, if they just like you, they're going beyond even saying, Oh, I hate this person. I hope such and such, such happens to this person or something. Okay. They actively do things behind the scenes to try to manifest this to happen in your life, to try to hurt you or harm you, stop you, block you, hinder you, um, whatever. Okay, they go, they're going beyond the normal, okay, to tap in and, and get the, whatever type of knowledge or power it is they have. They've sold out to these demonic entities and deities for them to have power, okay? But on the outside looking in, um, they may make it seem like, oh, they are spiritual, like they're righteous, upstanding type of individuals, but they are not, Spirit is saying here, okay? This person will go to any lens, okay, to try to get what they want, okay? Why is Spirit saying this about this person here? Spirit is telling you two things here, that this person is an evil queen. You deserve sugar and not salt from this person, okay? I would not eat anything or drink anything from this person, okay? This person definitely does not have your best interest at heart, okay? This is someone who hates you with a passion or anything connected to you, you, your children, your lover, or whomever, okay? Um, and they will stop at nothing to try to hurt you here. This person is very dangerous. They're very evil. They're very wicked. They're a shark, okay? Spirit is telling you to, you need to swim away from this situation here, okay? Because this evil supposed queen is a shark, is a snake, is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And this person is demonically possessed, okay? This person will lure you to your death, okay? If they possibly could, okay? Yeah. Once again here, we have Queen of the Shadows here, okay? This person will do anything to acquire any type of knowledge that they possibly can, but even the things that they're knowledgeable in, okay, or educated on, they 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 use it for evil, for wickedness, to hurt and to harm others, to try to maliciously manifest what it is that they want in their life here, okay? This also speaks to insecurity. This person actually has self-esteem issues, um, is very insecure within themselves, but um, they try not to display that to other people, so they project onto other people, okay? This also speaks to manipulation. This person is very manipulative. This person is very controlling and dominant, possessive, um, very dark individual here, okay? You see how this person is draped in these dark robes and the only light around them? This person is no light worker, okay? This person is no angelic 
angelic being. This person is dark, demonic, evil, full of antimatic here. The only light that's around this person comes from this fire, okay? And they're using this fire for evil, malicious purposes, okay? This person has no true divine light within them, okay? Their light, okay, does not come from the sun. Their light comes from the moon, okay? And, and, and anybody in the tarot community will tell you that the moon speaks of um, when the, the moon can talk about things being illuminated. The light that comes from the moon um, is shining a light on things that are hidden, things that are secret, okay? Things that are done behind closed doors, evil things, malicious things, criminal activity, wickedness, demonic um uh, masonic type of things okay and this is what this person is into behind the scenes whether you know this or not okay yeah we also have here um the prison waff here okay the things that this person is doing could definitely lead them to prison here okay this talks about self-sabotage uh, self-sabotage excuse me okay it also speaks to uh, a poverty consciousness as well here okay um the things that this this person is so flamboyant with the things that they do their witchcraft sorcery black magic voodoo they they will not only just do this to say their lover they will do this to their kids they will do this to their neighbors their co-workers their family members they will do this if they got um they will do this to anyone Okay, if this person was in school, they would do this to a professor, a teacher, okay? They would do this to a police officer, a lawyer, a judge, okay? They feel that sure of themselves and these demons that have possessed them. They think they, they hold that much power, okay? But they are into some very sick and twisted, malicious things here, okay? To the point where they self-sabotage themselves. This person also gets off on um this person may have a high tolerance to pain and also gets off on hurting themselves as well okay this person will hurt themselves to get attention from other people as well okay The other message is spirit. The spirit is saying that this person is determined. You see how this the, this person looks very evil. Okay, they're like this hot lava shooting from this volcano here. Okay, that will scorch anything in its path. And this person is. This speaks to determination here. Okay, this person is determined to manifest whatever it is that they want when they want it, how they want it, and they're willing to do anything in 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 order to do just that. Okay. Fear wants you to know that this person, this person um, is very determined in what they are doing here, okay? We have soul loss here. I told you that this person is a sellout, okay? What they're dealing with, what they're going through, what they're a part of, what they're doing is as a result of them selling out here, okay? But this person is a lost soul. Their soul cannot be redeemed. I told you they sold their soul to the satanic power. What's that being? For power, for privilege, for certain positions, titles, or roles, for money, for um, incentives, okay, um, for privileges, for comforts. Um, this person is a, their soul is lost here, okay? And deep down, you see how she's crying? As dark as she is, deep down inside, she's crying on the inside, okay? But she tried not to show that on the um, outside. And this is also the reason why she um, dilutes herself in alcohol and drugs and, and, and um, self-harm and different things to... Um, to to um not in the effort because those things don't help don't heal the wounds that this person has okay but it um it soothes it numbs the pain okay that this person feels that this person it is enduring deep within okay and the only thing that makes them feel better is to hurt and to harm others okay this person is a, a a soulless being here okay these demons have inhabited this person's body and it's going to be this way till this person dies okay because their soul cannot be redeemed here okay so this is the energy this is the overall energy of this person and this person is in 
your family, okay? So this could be your family is anybody who is connected to you, okay? So this could very easily be someone that you are in a relationship with or you were in a relationship with, okay? This could be an actual family member, your mother, okay? And a witch, okay? Usually male witches are called warlocks, okay? But it's still a witch, okay? Um, this person could be male or female, okay? So when you hear witch, okay, don't, don't just assume, okay, that this is just a female, okay? Spirit wants you to pay attention to the signs here, okay? You see how she's out here in the wilderness? She goes out in the woods. She goes out in darkness. You see that cemetery behind her? She's out there doing some very evil, malicious things at nighttime, okay? To conjure up all kinds, kinds of wickedness, okay, guys? This is someone who is close to you. This is someone who is vigorously working against you. This person is very jealous and envious of you. They're spiteful towards you. They're hateful towards you. They they want to try to destroy you in any way that they possibly can. But this person is demonically possessed. Spirit is saying here, okay? So at the bottom of the deck here, we have the seven of swords, okay? All this person do is a lie. They're a liar. They're a deceiver. They're a manipulator, okay? They're a heartbreaker, okay? This person has lied to you or stolen something from you or cheated on you if you were in a relationship with this person or are in a relationship with this person, okay? This person is trying to sneak away with doing something um, that, that they maliciously did to you. Okay, um, but this person is definitely a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a thief, a con artist. Okay, this person is a straight up um, Decepticon. Okay, they're deceptive and they are a con artist. Okay, um, they're a habitual liar here. Okay, this person is the type of person who lie. They lie for no apparent reason at all. They offer lies to people. They lie about things they don't even have to lie about. Okay, that really nobody even cares about, but just to be talking and offer you a lie, this person will offer you a lie. Okay, you don't even have to specifically ask this person a question and then they lie to you. This person will lie just to be lying. Okay, but this person has lied on you or stolen something from you. Okay, okay, or, or tried to cheat you or beat you, hurt you or harm you in some type of way. Okay, they use these swords to betray you here with the um, the seven of swords here. Okay, there was some type of loss pertaining to what this person has done to you. Okay, they have they are they are actively trying to cause you some type of loss as well. Spirit is saying, okay. Yeah, and what they have done, they want they want to cause you some type of loss. They want to cause you a, a ending to happen in your life, okay? They want your life to come to an end. This person is actively trying to kill you, okay? They have set up plans, plots, and schemes to try to sacrifice you, to try to hurt you or harm you. Do you see all these swords here? Seven of swords with the ten of swords, okay? If you added them together, the 17 swords that they have stabbed in your back. Okay, that they are willing to use any one of these swords, okay, to cut you down in any type of way, to hurt you, harm you in any type of way, to cause you to have some type of loss or endings in your life here, okay? This is ultimate betrayal here, okay? And I feel like that this individual has worked with a group of people to do this to you, okay? We have here the seven of wands here, okay? The seven of wands speaks of endurance, okay? One enduring a lot, okay? Um, it, it uh, th th This can speak to tensions and defensiveness as well, um, but you have endured a lot because of this betrayal that this person has sent you through, okay? Because they have how they have tried to hurt you and harm you and all of the burdens that it has caused upon you, all the responsibility, all the problematic situations, okay, that they're lying and they're deceiving and they're manipulating and they're cheating and they're stealing, okay, and all of their betrayal, it has caused you to endure a whole lot. It has caused you a lot of problematic situations, okay? Um, it has caused you stress, okay? 
put a lot of responsibility on you, okay? Caused a lot of burden to be on your back here, okay? You've had to use strength. You've had to stay strong in this situation here. You've had to try to keep yourself stable and secure, okay? No matter what obstacles was thrown in your way, okay? You tried to keep a sense of stability and security for yourself, okay? But this person has stopped at nothing with the lies, deception, manipulations, and control. This person has stopped at nothing to try to end you, to try to destroy you, to try to hurt you, harm you. In any way that they possibly could here, okay? And these things, Spirit is saying that they done in secret. They done in darkness, okay? They caused all type of illusions in your life here, okay? They did things and, and I feel like they met up with other people involved in this and in, in, in their scheme of team of con artists that they work with at night, Okay, they even went out during uh, moon cycles, especially full moon cycles, doing rituals on you. Okay, they went out to a river or a lake or or um, the ocean. They went out somewhere where there's a big body of water. Okay, during full moons and they cast these spells on you. These people are casting curses and spells on you every single day here. Okay. I feel like um, this could be a water sign that is doing this to you. They also worked with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, as well as a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. That this water sign, this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio worked. They all worked in conjunction together to work against you, okay? There's a whole group of individuals who have actively part participated and working against you, but this one in particular family member, she is completely and utterly demonically possessed here, okay? They've done these things to you in secret, behind closed doors, hoping that you wouldn't figure out, that you wouldn't know that they could continue to gaslight you, lie to you, play games with you in your life and different things here, okay? They betrayed you like this for money here these people abandoned you they isolated you they left you hanging they left you out in the cold with nothing and nobody you and your child if you have children these people abandon you okay the witchcraft sorcery black magic voodoo that they were putting on you they they were attacking you on purpose so you could purposely struggle okay and them isolating you and abandoning you, that's just another one of their game stalking tactics here. Okay? But they because they wanted to bring about some type of ending in your life. They want to take your life here. And this is betrayal for the love of money is what is happening here. That's the reason why these people isolated you. That's the reason why they abandoned you the way they did here, okay? Everything that you endured, everything that you have been going through, everything that you've been dealing with by these people, by your family, by this person who is demonically possessed specifically has caused, they have caused nothing but conflict and competition, okay? There's been nothing but conflict and competition, as a result of all of the things that they have been doing to you, okay? I feel like it has even gotten to the point where they are argu big, uh, arguing, fussing, and fighting, and bickering amongst themselves. The same scheme of teams that came together to work against you here, okay? Yeah. But see, these burdens that they put on you, they did this in an effort to bring about some type of change, Okay? The change that they wanted you to face was loss, was endings, was death, okay? This is the reason why they abandoned you, okay? They isolated you, okay? They set you up and did death spells on you. So when you popped up dead, they were going to show up like the crisis actors that they are and play pretend. You know, these are the type of people who will set you up to sacrifice you and kill you. And to be on the news, giving an interview, fake crying, show up at your wake, show up at your funeral, acting a fool like they loved you so much and cared about you when they're the very ones that set you up. <clears throat> okay? But these individuals put these, cause all these burdens and problematic situations in your life to bring about some type of change, okay? 
and it is all centered around money here okay these individuals are very jealous of you okay they didn't even want you to have a, the bare minimum. They didn't want you to have food to eat, a roof over your head. They didn't want you to have transportation. They didn't want you to have a job. They didn't want you to be able to pay your bills. They want, they tried to purposely make you homeless on the street. They didn't want you to have love in your life, marriage. They didn't want you to have a family of your own. They didn't want you to have a relationship, a meaningful relationship. And if anybody did come your way and try to act like they were interested in you to talk to you or was attracted to you, they were an op trying to catfish you that these individuals sent in to you to come and just to come into your life to hurt you, to cheat on you, to beat you, to abuse you in some type of way here. Yeah. And see, this is the reason why you've had to hold your composure that you are, the reason why you have had to maintain a sense of stability here okay because these enemies also did things to try to make you snap to try to make you lose control they wanted you to give up become suicidal and kill yourself they wanted you to just snap crack and pop and wig out So they can call the police, call the authorities and say, see, I told you something is wrong with them. They're out of their mind. They're out of control. They're mentally ill. They need help. They need to be institutionalized. They literally have stopped at nothing. They've tried to set up situations where you could be in prison. They've tried to set up situations where you could be institutionalized. They've tried to push you over the edge to, to, to make you kill yourself. They've tried to force you to homelessness. These are people close to you, people in your family who have done this to you. And truly enough, they have they are teamed up with other individuals. Individuals in power, individuals in authority, individuals even in government. But this is your family, your supposed family, your alleged family who has done this to you. Who has stopped that nothing. Who continue to do this to you. Yeah. And they worked in secret. They vigorously worked in secret against you. Your family. To, to get some type of growth. To get some type of reward. To come to them. This is the reason why they were so desperate for you to lose. They were so desperate to, to, to end you. In one way or another. Betrayal for the love of money. These people will kill you. They, these people will take out a fraudulent insurance claim on you, kill you. Just to pay out on that insurance claim when they're the ones that set you up to be sacrificed. These individuals have put a hit out on you. Put a hit out on your children. Kill you, abduct your children, or abduct you. These people have set you up to be raped, robbed, jumped, shot, stabbed, drowned. These people stopped at nothing to try to hurt you. Sick in the head as individuals they are. Your own family parading around here like they high and mighty, like they something special. Let's clarify here. Hmm? What is all this lies and deceptions, this manipulation about, okay? What they trying to sneak and creep and get away with. They trying to get away with the fact that they have illegally invaded and violated your human rights, your civil, your constitutional rights, your privacy, your mind, your body, your soul. They're trying to get away with the fact that they that they they set you up for a downfall. They're trying to get away with the fact that they stole something from you. They're trying to get away with the fact that they tried to kill you. They tried, they're trying to get away with the fact that they put a hit out on you. They're trying to get away with the fact that they even attacked your child or your children. Yeah. They wanted to cause you loss and endings in your life. 
And they used witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, and voodoo to target you. To stalk you, to harass you, to illegally invade and violate you. This is the reason why they isolated you. They, you know, abandoned you. Imprisoned you. Confined you within your own home or your own space. Alone. Thinking that was going to cause you to break. Cause you to give up. What, what, what was the reason for this betrayal? And this abandonment here. This isolation here. Finances, money, resources. A large lump sum of money. I told you betrayal for the love of money. Huh? What what is the what was the point in you enduring all of these things? What was the point in all of this conflict, chaos, competition here to bring your life to an end? To cause endings and completions in your life. So they can run off with the bag. These burdens, these problematic situations that were placed on you. Because of these individuals who wanted to play God in your life to bring about the change that they wanted for their own ill wills. What was this for? We have here the emperor. This is somebody who is a father or a father figure. Could be your father was in on this. This is also somebody in authority, somebody in power. Yeah, and you see how this emperor is looking directly towards this, the world here with the ace of coins here. He's the one that wants to cause this ending in your life. About this money. For this money. Didn't want you to receive this money. This is why you were betrayed. This is why you were. These people were disloyal to you. This is the reason why they put so many problematic situations in your life. This is the reason why you have endured so much. This is the reason why there was so much conflict and competition. This is the reason why you were abandoned. Isolated. This is what these people stole from you. You have to have, you've had to have strength in dealing with this from your own family. I've never seen people so cruel a day before in my life. I mean, you got mobsters and cartels. And thanks. Who got a closer well-knit family than this? Italians and things. Europeans and things. I've never even seen some of the most ruthless cutthroat folk that we, we could we could have ever heard of in our life be so disloyal to their own flesh and blood. They wanted you stuck, restricted, unable to move. These people tried to have you imprisoned. But see what the, the, the ill intent that they wished upon you was only insurance for your benefit because they're going to be the ones stuck, restricted, unable to move. They're going to be the ones who are imprisoned and confined for what they have done. For what they continue to do. See, some of them they in so deep. They, they, they couldn't stop if they wanted to. They under contract. See, they in these secret societies. That's run, ruled, and controlled by these satanic powers that be. These wealthy folks high up in power. That's the handlers. Tell them what to do, how to do, when to do, where to do. 
and they have to, or their lives are in danger or in jeopardy. So they decided it was going to be you. See, these people came together and put your name on a contract to sacrifice you for these elite satanic powers that be. Your family gathered together with these wealthy folks in power and put your name, signed a contract to sacrifice you. And they're bound by that contract. This is the reason why they have vigorously been working against you for years, if not all your life. These people have caused all type of illusions. Okay? They did things in secret, in hiding. They thought they were protected and covered and they wouldn't be found out. But Spirit is saying that there is going to be justice brought to this situation here. The scales are going to be balanced because they have been exposed and they have been found out for what they are, 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 are doing and what they have done to you. See, this is a hate crime. This speaks to cruel and unusual punishment. This is domestic terrorism. Premeditated murder. That's what happening. That's what is happening here, people. Okay? So these lies, the manipulation. The theft of what they stole from you that was rightfully yours. The truth about this witchcraft, sorcery, and black magic, and voodoo that they have done upon you. I feel like it has been exposed. And a community of people know. And see, now they're sitting in concern. And worry. Even the powers that be are worried. Because these individuals are sold out unto them. See that 33 Master Mason number there. They ain't concerned. Okay. Somebody is going to receive some type of message of concern or have received some type of message of concern. I feel like you could receive some type of message of, of concern pertaining to these things that have been happening. Getting full truth and clarity as to what specifically these people done to you. Somebody is going to contact you and let you know that a hit was put out on you to end your life. And they found out about it. Somebody's going to contact you and let you know that a large amount of money was stolen from you. Somebody's going to contact you and let you know what this family maliciously were doing to you behind your back. And see, this is the reason why these people are in concern here. You know. I feel like this information is going to leave you shook. But at the same time, if you are a target and you and, and you have uh, um, excommunicated yourself with these people, you might not be too surprised about a lot of it. As far as them working against you. Now, when you get the information on, 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 on uh, how they were going to kill you, this may be of a shock to you. Okay. All of this was for money. You're going to find out about the money, about the property as well. Somebody is even going to get some type of information. These individuals that were working, somebody could be... Uh, you could have been adopted or 
abducted. There's something else very sinister. A lot of things sinister that ties into this family. That you're going to get truth and clarity about. And, and, and these, like, it's going to be multiple messages of concern. That's going to be of shock to you, okay? But all these things tie into this large sum of money that these individuals lied to you about, stole from you. Like, these people even lied on you. They stopped at nothing to try to get what they wanted here. And they're linked up with somebody in power. I told you, these individuals are sold out to some type of satanic cult or witch coven. Or, or, or they're in some type of secret society here. Because this emperor here is a wealthy man. This wealthy man ordered those of them that is a part of this, that was recruited in this to gain stalk you, to harass you, to do these things to you, to place all these burdens on you, to bring about some type of change to end your life. This person had them to do it. It's the one behind the scenes that was paying them their incentives to bring about an ending in your life to place all this burdens on you to cause this conflict here to have you endure all of this to bring about some type of ending in your life some type of loss in your life see some of these individuals was involved in stealing something from you and others of these individuals were just involved in the attack, the malicious attack against you, but they were being paid by someone else to work against you. But they were all involved with actively setting you up to sacrifice you. And this wealthy man here, this emperor, I told you this is authority for this is somebody wealthy, this is somebody high up in power, this is somebody Caucasian. Who is the handler of all of them? The overseer of all of them that's working against you here. I told you, your family. People in your family are getting ready to go down for the things that they have done to you. Okay? And I feel like there is somebody who is an official person. That's going to bring this justice here. Pertaining to this situation. About what was hidden. About what was secret. About what they were doing to you. Behind the scenes. This family here. But see there's multiple people. On multiple different levels. Involved in this thing here. We have surprise here at the bottom of the deck. This is going to surprise you. This is going to shock you. Who all involved in this? Who's paying these individuals to vigorously work against you like this? This may be a, 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 a surprise to you. It could make you quite sad. There's a grandmother or someone older that is involved. A mother, a grandmother... Because I feel like this goes further back than just now. Somebody you love very dearly. I feel like this has even stemmed from when you were even younger. I feel like these people have been actively working against you since you were younger. And these things were hidden from you. The fact that you was uh, uh, experimented on. The fact that you are a target. The fact that... that these, that you were going to be set up like this, that these things were going to be done to you. I feel like this was hidden from you. But I feel like everybody that you know as family, everybody that you have ever come into contact with, they were all aware of this. But you never knew. I don't feel like you caught wind to what was happening and what was going on bit by bit until you went through some type of awakening. Okay? 
this messages of concern could come from somebody who is a scholar. This could very easily be with, uh, from someone who is in power, who is an authority. Um, but this scholar is knowledgeable, is educated, has degrees, has some type of um, important position, title, or role here. You could get some type of community. You're going to get some type of message of concern from this person. Okay. Those of them who caused you to endure so much, who caused all this conflict in your life, who tried to bring your life to an end. Okay. Spirit is saying that they are the enemy here. You need to be very careful though, because this, whoever this scholar is, is going to send you this message of concern. This person, I feel like it's going to come in telling you some things, but come off like they want to help you. They're part of the setup. Because they're showing up as the enemy here on unexpected income. This person is going to come in like they want to help you or something. But they're part of the setup here. So you need to be very careful. Because these people are still actively working against you here. You need to understand that your family are sellouts. And they mix it in meaningly with some very wealthy, high profile, elite people. Who is calling the shots and giving them the giving them orders? Now, whereas your family and people closest to you, like people you've been in relationships with, people you went to school with, people you work with, people in your neighborhood, this that, and the other, have been the ones on the surface, on a lower level, actively working against you, that you could visibly see these cats are the ones that have been behind the scenes, in secret, hidden. That you may not have known their name or been aware of exactly who was behind this. That may surprise you. Yeah. So we have the scholar here. We have enemy. We have Lord here. This is an elite individual high up in power this emperor here this wealthy man here okay who feels like he's god given right to earth and any and every damn thing on it you can see him very smug very cocky very arrogant very sure of himself very powerful, very wealthy. This is the one who have ordered all these burdens and problematic situations upon y'all, this responsibility upon you to bring about this change. There are a lot of conversations that is being had behind the scenes. Okay? Pertaining to your family. Because they, they, they are beginning to get caught up. And what they involved in and what they are doing. Because they have been found out here. Okay. So there's a lot of uh, uh, conversation going on. They meeting up and gathering up together. You would think it was a family reunion. The way they gathering up together. And they gossiping. And they talking in your name. And everybody's mouth. You know you that chick when you cause all this conversation. Yeah. But people in your family is about to be exposed or have been exposed for what they have done to you. Okay. And this person, this a, there's an official person that wants to bring justice to the situation who is in deep thought about this. Here, okay. This person is in deep thought about this, wants to bring justice to the situation 
because these people did, a, I mean, they did some illegal things. I mean, look, they weren't righteous in nothing that they did. There was nothing biblical about what they did. There was nothing righteous about what they did. There was nothing lawful about what they did. It was all unjust, unfair, unorthodox, cruel and unusual, evil, wicked, and demonic to the core. And it's all being exposed. It's all being exposed. Somebody gonna tell the truth in a minute. I thank you all for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Sorry guys, let me get a drink of water. For those of you who would like to follow me, you can do so at um, through um, Instagram, which is at shine bright like a diamond, which with an underscore between each word. Look at this, guys. Which warlock, demons, spirit said evil is as evil does. These individuals are a part of some type of sinister satanic cult. I told you, a wicked witch coven. These are devil worshippers here. This is a satanic powers that be who are behind them, who have been backing them this entire time with their black magic and their voodoo. These people are demonically possessed. They're sellouts. I told you they are a part of a secret society. Okay? Yeah. There's secret information, secret knowledge, occultic knowledge, things that's hidden. There's authority people, uh, 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 authoritarian individuals involved in what is going on. Elite officials here. Okay? You need to listen to your intuition at this time. Use your intuition at this time. Call upon the Most High, your archangels, for guidance and assistance. Okay? There are secret societies who are involved in this. Listen to your intuition. Follow your intuition. But there is definitely secret information. Secret knowledge to what has been done. To what has been going on. Okay? And I feel like it's all about to be exposed and bust wide the hell open. Okay? Because you, you, you have not only been gang stalked and targeted you 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 were being experimented on against your will all kind of evil malicious hateful things was being done to you by your family as well as the government and you received no help no assistance or nothing for it and it's all about to be exposed because this tower is about to collapse tragedy is about to happen destruction chaos A sudden upheaval. Problems of any kind can occur. Okay? Tragic news. A shake up of things. Okay? These people were trying to plan your murder. Trying to harm you in some type of way. And it has all been exposed. It has all been exposed. Yeah. They also did things to put you under mind control here. Government, didn't I tell you you was experimented on? Government experimentation is about to be um, exposed. Satanic ritual abuse, mind control, programming, MK Ultra, brainwashing tactics, remote neural monitoring, neural logistic programming, directed energy weapons, militarized weaponry used on you, and it's all about to be exposed. This is what they were doing to you. Your entire life. To get over on you. They've been making money off of you for years. This is what they did it for. The love of money. And this secret information. This secret knowledge is all about to come out. It's all about to come out.
Everything these sick bastards have done to you is all about to come out. Spirit wants you to know that you are enough, okay? All your life, they've been trying to make you feel like um, you was crazy when you went. not All your life, they wanted to make you feel like you wasn't talented enough or skilled enough or beautiful enough. All your life, they've been mind, trying to make it seem like you wasn't smart enough. You wasn't talented enough. Nothing that you ever work hard towards or done in your life was ever good enough. This was all done on purpose. This was all a part of the experimentations. Spirit wants you to know that you are beautiful in every single way. Nothing, no weapon that these people formed against you will prosper. There's no words. That they could speak about you or to you that will bring you down. Spirit wants you to know that you are you going to continue to look good. And the Most High is going to ensure that you feel good. Because you are beautiful. And you need to have the mentality, the attitude that people can love you or leave you. But they're not going to fuck over you. Just period. Because you are a special type of person. Okay? You are loving you even when nobody else do. Spirit wants you to know that you are enough. No matter what the haters say. No matter what the people say. No matter what the satanic powers that be say. No matter what any critics say. You don't need nobody's permission or approval to know that you are somebody. Whether they like you or not, support you or not, uplift you or not, give you a pat on the back or a round of applause, you are important. You are somebody. You are beautiful. You are special. And you are just as important as anybody else, no matter how hard they have tried. To make you feel less than. To lower your self esteem. To drain you of your energy. To make it seem like you couldn't make it. You was nobody. You wasn't good enough. You wasn't pretty enough for anything else. While they sat back behind the scenes. Attacking you. Doing any and everything that they could. To destroy your mind. To destroy your body. To destroy your appearance. To destroy your life. But they are going to pay with their lives. For what they have done to you. Your excellence. Spirit wants you to know. That you are excellent. Like I said guys. I thank you for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to follow me. You can do so on Instagram. At shine bright like a diamond. Um, you can contact me at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. If you would like to donate to the channel. You can do so through Cash App. Which is dollar sign tiff diamond 36. Or through PayPal. Which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. I thank you all for listening. I thank you for watching. Um, I hope this information gave someone the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to the situation that you are dealing with or you are going through at this time. Okay. Keep your head up. Okay. Smile in the face of adversity. Step right on over those obstacles. And keep it moving towards your future and your destiny. Okay. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in the neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.